What we're going to be discussing today is the ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT. This equation allows us to describe the features of a gas. P in this case stands for pressure. V is the volume occupied by the gas. It's um, often the um, the volume of the actual container the gas is is housed in however it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, this is really important so this next one we even do in a different color in this case this lowercase n uh, stands for um, the amount of substance which is or the amount of moles of the gas so the amount of moles. If you're not quite so sure what a mole is, please have a look through my channel and uh, find the, uh, the appropriate video. Now um, R in this case, it's, um, it's just a constant. In fact, it's the universal molar gas constant, which uh, is about 8.31. So as a number, it's uh, 8.31. Uh, 3, 1, and it's got units of joules per mole uh, Kelvin and T in this case stands for temperature so T is our temperature just a little note and I'll do that in a different color as well the temperature uh, the SI unit for that is Kelvin so this is really important in quite a lot of problems we're going to come across um, information given in Celsius that we will need to convert to Kelvin in order to solve our problem. So that's one form of the equation. There's a um, very, very similar form of um, exactly the same equation. And uh, I'm just going to write this underneath. And that is that PV is equal to capital N K T. P and V are exactly the same as above, so P stands for pressure, V stands for volume. N here now, this capital N stands for the amount of particles. So how many particles does this gas actually consist of? So that's the key difference over here so let's write that this is the amount or the let's show just write the number of particles the number of particles okay over here uh, which is the other difference from the above equation is known as Boltzmann's constant And the value of this constant is 1.38 times 10 to the power of minus 23. So it's quite a small number, 1.38 times 10 to the power of minus 23. And the units of that are joules per Kelvin. Perfect. So these are the two equations that we're going to be using. If we are given the amount of moles into this gas, uh, we're going to use the first one over here. If we are given the number of particles, we're going to use this equation just here. Okay, folks, well, let's see whether we can apply our knowledge to a past paper question. We have a 2018 past paper question from the OCR modeling physics paper. And as always, this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt this example completely independently, because that's the best way to really get a hang of physics. Okay, folks, well, let's have a look at the solution to this problem. Because we are talking about moles of an ideal gas, I'm going to use the equation that PV is equal to NRT. 
So I'm just going to write that PV is equal to NRT. The question says that if I have a volume V, I'm actually dealing with one mole of an ideal gas. So in this case, the amount of moles, which is this N over here, that's going to be equal to one. So I'm just going to say N is equal to one over here. That's going to turn my equation to PV is equal to one times RT, really. And, um, okay, well, the question is asking us which of the following has the units joules per mole per Kelvin? Well, that's, uh, that's making you believe that they're probably after the gas constant R. Uh, the reason for that is because if I want to find the base units of, of R, I'm going to need to divide by the temperature, which is measured in Kelvin. So I'm going to get my factor of K to a power of minus 1. Okay, so let's do that. R will be just rearranging for R. This is going to be PV divided by uh, 1 mole and uh, divided by the temperature. Okay, well, so let's um, start thinking about those base units now. I'm just going to simplify my expression for the pressure. Remember, pressure is force over area in general so I can just write that so it's going to be force over area times volume at the top this F of A that's just my pressure divided by one mole multiplied by the temperature okay well moving on we can start adding some units now some base units so um, the force, that's just measured in newtons, my area is measured in meters squared, multiplied by the volume which is measured in meters cubed, and uh, this one here is actually the amount of substance, so that's going to be a mole, and the T here stands for temperature which is measured in Kelvin. So we're basically getting there now, um, I'm just going to do some cancellations, and I'm going to get a newton meter. But remember, one joule is actually equal to one newton meter. If you're not quite so sure about that, please have a look at my base units video that I'm going to leave a link to in the description below. So one newton meter is a joule. This is really, really important. So um, this is equal to a joule and divided by a mole times Kelvin. Well, this is actually equal to a joule uh, mole to the power of minus one, k to the power of minus one. So, in this case, the correct answer is going to be D. Um, because this PV over T, well, that's actually equivalent to what we have on this step over here. If you're in a multiple choice situation where you're pressured to do this, no pun intended, but if you're pressured to, um, to choose an answer under a small amount of time, you could also always look at this uh, equation over here and you can see that your your answer has got to be divided by, uh, by the amount by the amount of temperature so it's gonna have to have temperature on the um, um, in the lower part of the the fraction so that will immediately eliminate a and then after a little bit more careful thinking about units you can arrive at the correct answer which in this case is D Okay, folks, now let's do a written example question as well. This one here is a relatively old one from June 2014 from the um, OCR exam paper. As always, please pause this video and uh, attempt this question independently. Okay, well, let's have a look at this solution. Now, in the first instance, what I'm going to do is just write down this equation. So PV is equal to nRT. 
Now, because we're going to have to express this in terms of density, I'm just going to be really careful not to confuse those two symbols. So this P over here that stands for pressure, this symbol here, rho, that kind of looks like a curly P. I'm going to try not to confuse that. So I'm just going to write those here on the side is density rho is equal to mass over volume. So that's just your standard mass in kilograms of the gas divided by the volume. Now, additionally, what I'm going to remember is that the number of moles n that is actually equal to your standard mass, the one measured in kilograms, divided by the molar mass m, which in this case is uh, is actually given in the question over here. Okay, well, we can use that information to actually solve our problem. So, let's do this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, if density is mass over volume, well, that means that volume is um, actually going to be the mass over the density. So I'm going to put input this expression over here, and then I'm going to input this expression over here. So let's do this. I'm just going to rewrite this as P, and rather than V, what I'm going to write is mass over density, like so, and that's going to equal the number of moles. Rather than the number of moles, I'm going to write M over M, M over capital M, R, T. So this is already starting to resemble the equation that, that I'm looking for. And I can do some cancellations. So I'm going to cancel all those, those M's. And I'm just going to rearrange this for the pressure P by multiplying everything by the density. So this is going to equal your density times R times T divided by M. And if I remember correctly, the grade spread of this question would be if you had the fact that density is mass, uh, mass over volume, uh, you can give yourself a mark. If you have the equation for the number of moles, you can give yourself a mark. And as well, if you've reached the final answer by doing this work over here, you can give yourself a mark. Okay, folks, that was, uh, that was another example of uh, using the ideal gas equation.